Dear students, we have discussed Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint in last many modules. And from today, we are going to start a new set of modules on spreadsheets. So the today's topics would be to introduce yourself to the spreadsheet concept and cell and its address, format cell, and how to construct charts. So you might have uh, planned and you might have written the budget of your home in some register where you mentioned that these are the products and these are the expenses details and then at the end of the month you might have calculated that how much you have spent in the whole month so such kind of register such kind of sheet where you can mention different kind of datas and then you process those datas in future is known as spreadsheet and uh, Microsoft Office has provided such option of spreadsheet in the form of Microsoft Excel. So we will start uh, to give you an introduction to Microsoft Excel and its basic functionalities. So let's start the practical. So here is a file which I have created for you in Microsoft Excel. So how I have created such a file let me explain in a new file here we have number of options like file which is similar as microsoft world and microsoft powerpoint which we have learned the home ribbon is similar to that insert ribbon page layout formulas is a new one which we will be discussing in these modules then data is a different thing different ribbons and set of options which we will be discussing in a little bit more details and other almost all of the ribbons are of similar nature which we have already learned in Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. So here in uh, Excel uh, you have the concept of cell. So for example this particular uh, one cell and this cell has an address and that address is written over here. So this address contains the column name and the row number so we have columns here from a b c until n so if you want to see the last column you can press control and arrow right key so this is the right uh, most column in our excel sheet at the moment and if i press again control and left arrow key it will move me to the first uh, cell and then similarly we have number of rows over here so if I click on control down arrow key, so I will move at the end of the spreadsheet. So we have this number at the end. And then if I click, uh, if I press control and up arrow key, I will move upward to the first cell. So this cell has an address of A1 because this lies in the column A and row 1. So for example, this has an address of F7. So this is an intersection of column F and row 7. And for example, this one has uh, address of J14 because it has in uh, it lies at the intersection of column J and row 14. So these uh, cells will be used uh, in uh, next uh, many modules. So you must remember this concept of address of any cell and then uh, in any cell we can start inserting the data for example if i'm saying i'm adding over here some data then let's try to make it a little bit bigger so that you can more easily can see it so for example and then if i say that i want to store here some point so whatever data I want to store in these cells, for example, I say it's the name of some person. So I can uh, format uh, the cell to possess uh, different kind of data. For example, if I right click on it and go to the format cell, so then I can see that I have variety of options uh, for that particular cell. So at the moment it's general. So it's not a good idea to make it general 
uh, all the time you should try to make it if it's numeric then you should say it's a number and then you can select that how many decimal places you want to show in this cell so for example at the moment we are showing two um, we can make it three or one for example so if i click here so all of the numbers will have a point and any decimal number will be represented over here and similarly uh, i have a currency for example if i want to show with each uh, value represented in this cell as dollar so this dollar will be represented so this is just a formatting actually the value is 12 which is present over here so this is a bar which contains the value of a cell this contains the address of a cell and then you can format that cell and you can also do uh, you can also merge some of the cells for example if i want to say uh, student information and i want to merge these cells so i will select these cells right click format cell border and i will say i need all of the border inside and outside like this and sorry this is uh, just a border I, I also want to join it i will go into alignment and will press on merge cell so this will merge the cell and then of course you can uh, go to the center of you can point this information at the center of the cell if you want so such an information is available so using such scenario i have created this file for you where we have uh, students their names and their different subjects in which they have performed and we have written the marks of these students and now uh, the next topic in this module is related to the charts so we can insert uh, some of the charts for this for example if i select this area and i say okay i want to add some chart for example there are a variety of charts available over here and there are some recommended charts as well so for example it's saying that uh, i recommend you to make this chart or you can go with this chart this kind of chart and scatter plot so all of different kind of charts and uh, are available over here so for example if i select this one so then you can see that based on this data this chart has been created and here you can add the title uh, whatever you want for example you say okay student uh, result card so this is the title which we have written and then you can see that these are the names and in each name we have one two three four five subjects so there are five bars represented over here and it is really telling us that which student has performed well in which of the subjects so here you can see um, some hidden patterns which are not understandable from this data for example you can see that akbar has performed almost uh, very good in all of the subjects consistently uh, then for example the most inconsistent are like sakib uh, then ahmed and then ali has performed consistently except uh, for uh, physics in which the uh, sakib has uh, sorry ali has performed uh, out, uh, outstanding and in other subjects it remained consistent from the range of 40 to 60 so such kind of multiple charts we can create using charts option so let's conclude uh, today's module we have learned about the introduction of excel we have seen that how a cell and its address can be uh, used uh, to represent different information and we have also seen that how you can format the cell to uh, make it a uh, different type of data so for example if you want to insert text number decimal points so you can uh, format that data and you can also format that data uh, data cell like if you want to merge multiple cells to uh, make one label of a particular cell so you can also perform such options and then at the end we have learned about charts so uh, we have uh, experimented with microsoft excel basics 
and in the next modules we will be coming up with very exciting features of Microsoft Excel.